Radical. Sports commentator Colin Cowherd is a moron who needs to apologize to the family of Dwayne Haskins. Now, in the background here, you'll see this list. This was taken from one of his segments talking about C.J. Stroud. And this list is Colin's list of QBs that cannot win a Super Bowl that were drafted since 2013. Let's take a look at this list here. Blake Bortles, Teddy Bridgewater, Sam Darnold, Justin Fields, Dwayne Haskins, Daniel Jones, Mac Jones, Trey Lance, Jordan Love, Paxton Lynch, E.G. Manuel, and he retired, Johnny Manziel, uh, Marcus Mariota, Baker Mayfield, Kenny Pickett, Josh Rosen, Mitchell Trubinsky, Carson Wentz, Zach Wilson, and Jameis Winston. I would say I agree with most of that list. I would say probably none of those quarterbacks will be winning a Super Bowl in the future. Two of them, I know, because E.J. Manuel, he's retired, right? One of them's not playing. I think it's E.J. And the other one I know has a 0% chance of winning a Super Bowl would be Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins, over a year ago, was killed on the interstate. Now, why Colin Cowherd is a moron is because this person that gets paid millions of dollars to do his little sports segments, this big-time sports commentator, didn't even look at the graphic that he was going to read for the show. He didn't even look at the graphic. Now, if I were in that position, if I were a big-time commentator on Fox Sports, I would damn sure look at any graphic that was going to be displayed. I would ask about in which timestamps it was going to be displayed, and I would plan around that. It's almost like he has a teleprompter, and he's just reading. He's just reading whatever is put in front of him. Now, what's interesting is how he actually reacted to this. And I can't play the video because it is copyrighted, but I've seen the video. How he reacted to this was, when he started to go through the list, he mentioned Teddy Bridgewater, and he mentioned Dwayne Haskins. And then he's like, ah, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. you could tell he noticed he messed up. They messed up, and in turn, he messed up because he's, he's the one reading the list. He messed up. He did not mention, he did not apologize about the list, about the fact that Dwayne Haskins was on the list, telling me that this was a list that was about maybe two years old. So it's not even an updated list. It's an old list, right? So that's, that's really low, low rent and cheap for it to be a, a, an old list like that, not even updated. He did not apologize on the air in that moment, which he should have. Just something light like, um, we are sorry this list has you know Dwayne Haskins on it. Uh, we apologize. It must have been a, a mix-up and error on the list and everything. And then he could have continued in saying, like, we'll still we'll continue to some of these other names. He, he, you know, he's a talented guy. He can figure a way to round it. But he just stuck on that name, and he was like, bah, 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 bah. and then instead of actually apologizing or even mentioning that Dwayne Haskins, even though factually correct, he's not going to be winning any Super Bowls anytime soon. He went to the title, and you're, if you're thinking, well, Colin was probably just you know not wanting to throw the person under the bus that provided the graphic, you know, being a solid guy for his team. That's not what it was. <laughs> this jerk actually focused on the fact he he shifted away from the fact that he messed up, but he laid blame on the title. He focused on the title being wrong, the title saying, Collins QBs that can win a Super Bowl. So not only was this graphic wrong in the list and outdated, but that tells me Colin Coward didn't even look at this. Or if he did, he's just a freaking moron. So he's not stated actually if he looked at the list or not. He's he's not even talking about this. He's just wanted to kind of blow over. He's been called out by several different people. Boomer Esiason called him out for it. A lot of people talk about it right now, as they rightly should. When someone messes up, they should be called out. Now, the list 
he focused on that list how the can should be a can't. He kept talking about that like he was deviating. Like, I think secretly he was so happy and relieved to see that the the title was off. And he shifted all the focus on that title being off. So, like I said, this moron should have apologized on the spot. He shouldn't be using these old lists. And who he should apologize to? The family of Dwayne Haskins. Even though he didn't mean for it to happen, be, sometimes being a dumbass moron, like Colin Cowherd, indirectly leads to being incredibly disrespectful. So he should apologize. Will he apologize? Probably not. He's probably just going to, you know, hop, skip, and jump right over all of this and uh, ride this on out. But if he does not apologize, a lot of people are going to lose a lot of respect for him, and it's going to be brought up in the future. 